Hi, let us see how to define a component in Oracle Flow Builder. A component represents a sequence of keywords to perform a transaction. Now we will see how to define a component for all the fields in the header section of the requisition form. Let's move to Oracle Flow Builder. Click on Components link. Navigate to the release. Product family, product and to the feature in which we want to create the component. Right click on the feature and select create component. Enter the component name. Create underscore requisition underscore header. Enter the tags. Tags are used for ease of search of components within Oracle Flow Builder. Enter a relevant description for the component being created. Here we will be entering to enter details in header fields in a requisition form. Click on save. Now the component is created. To add details, we can select the component and click on the attach code button or we can navigate to the component in the component tree. Right click on the component created. Select the option attach code. Enter the number of rows required for the component. Click on add rows. Here the first keyword to be used for any component is set app type. In Oracle applications we have different application types like ADF, Forms, Flex, Forms, JTT, Telnet and Web. Here we are writing the component for a Forms application. So we will select it as Forms. Next we would enter the set window keyword. The window name would be requisitions and the window attribute. Now we would enter the keyword and object for the operating unit field. As it is an edit field, we would use set text and edit. Let us select the keyword set text. As the object is an edit field, we would select edit. Display name would be the label of the field, operating unit. For the attribute value, let's move to the application. Go to diagnostics, examine. We will pick the block and field values from here. The block and field values together appended by underscore zero would be the attribute value. Similarly, we would enter the keyword and object pairs for all the different fields in the form. We would enter for type. The attribute value for the type field. Next, we would use set text edit again for the description field. Label description and the attribute value. After entering all the details, we would click on save. For that, we would use the keyword menu select. 
the object would be main menu display name would be file save attribute value can also be given as file pipe save Next, we would verify the transaction message, function call. We would select the corresponding function library, genlib. Provide a display name, status bar message. Select the relevant function name, form verify status. After saving, we would pick the requisition number that gets generated. We would save it to a variable. We will be using get and the object type is edit. As it's an edit field, we are using the object type as edit. We need to give the variable name in the output parameter field here. Rec number is the variable name. The field label would be the display name number. And the attribute value will be picked up from diagnostics. This variable can be used anywhere in the flows when we want to refer to the requisition that is created using this component. Click on save. Click on Submit. This is how we can create a component in Oracle Flow Builder. Now, let us see how to define a component set in Oracle Flow Builder. A component set is a logical grouping of individual components. Generally, to define a component set, we group the components from similar business entities in a particular order. Now, let's move to Oracle Flow Builder. Here in this demo, we will see how to define a component set for creating a basic requisition with a single goods line. Click on the link component sets. Navigate to the release, product family, product and to the feature where we want to create the component set. Right click on the feature, select create component set. Enter the name for the component set. Enter the tag. Tags are used to ease the search of component sets in Oracle Flow Builder. Enter the relevant description for the component set. Click on save. Navigate to the component set. Right click. Select update component set. Highlight the component set in the component set tree. Navigate to the component tree and select the components which we need to pull to the component set. Select the release. Navigate to the product. Here in this component set, we will add all the components that are required to create a requisition with one single goods line. We will add a component to fill in the header details for a requisition. Right click on the component and select the option move. We would add a component to fill in the details for a goods line in a requisition form. Next, we would add a component to add the distribution information for the goods line added. We can add the components by drag and drop. 
we can add the component to approve a requisition. While adding a component, we can also use the options of move above and move below. Now this is our component set, goods line requisition. This has four components to enter details in requisition header, component to enter the goods line details, a component for distribution details for the goods line and to approve the requisition. Now our component set is ready to be used in any flow. In any flow where we need to create a requisition with a goods line, we can add this component set instead of adding the four individual components. This helps us to reduce the flow development effort. This is how we define a component set in Oracle Flow Builder. Please contact us on these email IDs for any queries or additional information. Thank you.